I can't believe I'm actually, well you guys are the first people to hear about it, I've not even um, phoned home to tell um, my mum and dad or my sister, I've not phoned anybody to say anything, I just thought I'll hit record, tell you guys uh, that I'm... I guess at some point in my life. <laughs> Monday. It is now uh, the 13th of July and yes this outfit looks very like the last one. Let's just uh, let him uh, do his thing a minute. Tell me directions. I am off on a half sunshine half rain day once again. We've got a lot of those here in the UK and today is um, my examination day. So finally the day has arrived that I am taking my phlebotomy um, qualifications. So fingers crossed by five o'clock this evening, uh, I'll just adjust that camera a little bit, um, I will know uh, if I have my certificate or not. So you guys I'm sure will be the first to know when I come out of the building. Um, so fingers crossed, wish me luck. Um, yeah, nice sunny day. I've gone casual because it didn't say what to wear apart from a t-shirt or something with um, short sleeves so as we can of course extract blood and um, learn how to do the correct uh, tourniquet and things like that. So I have my little um, book with me, my pen, I'm ready to take notes, take uh, qualifications, exams, practice. Uh, um, I have to admit, I am a little bit nervous. I do enjoy feeling nervous, even um, in my performing life, uh, when I'm going on stage or anything like that. I think to not have nerves is unnerving, um, if that makes sense. Any performers out there, let me know if you feel the same. I think that's what um, what I do it for, um, the buzz, the, the feeling of feeling. Um, yeah, excited I think is what I actually am. Um, I have a coffee with me. I have had one coffee. Um, I'm trying to pace myself on the coffee front <laughs> so I don't get too jittery and excited. Um, there's still a lot of learning to do today. Ooh, a few bumps on the road. Uh, still a lot of learning as well as of course the practice tests, exams and paperwork. So we shall see. I'm not sure as I will be able to get any footage on the inside of the course. Um, the things that we'll be learning, um, of course, like the final bits today, the finishing touches will be like labeling the bottles, of course, physically um, injecting the needle into the, the skin and extracting blood, of course, all the practical side of things that you can't really do with any online learning. <laughs> you have to physically get in there and do that. So yeah, it's been a long time coming, um, not just since I enrolled for the course and it got postponed and things, but actually for the for the many years that I've wanted to do this, I'm doing something else for myself. Sounds a little greedy, but um, lockdown has been a time of achieving, I think. Um, there was a time when I wallowed a little bit, and I'm sure I wasn't alone in that. Um, I did gain weight, I did stop going for my walks, um, I don't know how to, like, it was difficult, I think, to stay positive the entire of the time. Um, things are changing, the world is opening up, and of course, I do have a job that is involved in the, the national effort and the whole COVID situation. So it is constantly in the forefront of my mind. It's not something that's kind of gone away for me. I know I do have um, friends and family people I've spoken to that are like, yeah, well, it's kind of over now. My life never changed. And I'm thinking, you're one of the few if that is how you feel. Um, I think life changed for a lot of people, even if they didn't lose their job or furloughed or anything, because of course the, the restrictions on your life um, were a big change. But um, yeah, my life is changing in a lot of ways right now. And just, um, I'm en route, as I said, 
Uh, we've got about half an hour before it starts and it's only about 10 more minutes away from this part of the journey. So hopefully I'm gonna be there early enough to park up and go <laughs> uh, calm myself down from the kind of nervous excitement that I have. But uh, yeah, a couple of other things. Let me just tell you that um, it's now been a week and a half since I collected my car. I <laughs> for those of you in the know, uh, she wasn't charged when I collected her, so I did have to give her a full charge myself. Um, and since that day, um, I haven't yet charged her again, which means I've had a lot of uh, nipping around, uh, shops, errands, I've uh, visited family, uh, I've done four days in work, now here today, and yeah, still haven't charged her up. It says I've got 71 miles left still on the clock, so we shall see. <laughs> Um, not that I have rained anxiety, but as it is my first, you know, fortnight and I've got more things to do. I have two days off actually after today, so I think I may just put her on charge just for um, kicks and then I know that she's full again in case I do anything extra. But for now, yes, um, I haven't charged her again yet. She's doing fantastic. I will touch more on uh, the Zoe Zeddy and another vlog today is all about study, um, excitement and a change in career prospects um, in more ways than one is uh, another thing that I have to tell you as I, um, I did mention in my last vlog that I was covering a shift for somebody over the weekend um, so as I could have today off and on that day I was approached um, just six weeks and three days into that uh, job role at the test centre and I have been offered a position of a uh, supervisor. So um, all things change on that front. So happy, happy, uh, positivity. Yes, you can achieve in anything that you do. Just, um, I don't know, be yourself, um, be positive, be be what you want to be. I don't want to change who you are if you are content. Um, I'm not always content. I think you all know that I have issues with myself, but one thing that I do strive to do is um, be a people person, be a positive person, and um, have good work ethic. Of course, this course today might not lead to um, a difference in career. Um, it might not. Um, do anything for me. I'm just gonna swap planes actually. I think I wanna go a different way. This seems a bit of traffic. Ah, let's do this way. Um, it might just be that I have another um, qualification because that seems to be what I do. I collect them, but it leaves my options open. I now have this role as a supervisor. I'm still keeping my same shift pattern, two days on, two days off, which I absolutely love. Um, I still stay with my same team, which they, make my days just fly by so that is great and hopefully I'm going to end today with my phlebotomy qualification as well let me just uh, make sure I get around the right way let's see change the lane yeah I knew I was in the right lane before um I got pushed out of the lane that I was in I was going to go straight through on the roundabout and as I went to go straight through another car came in to go in front of me around the roundabout and I was thinking you're in the wrong lane mate but I just got no time to have road rage I just keep it light and um, if you can safely adapt what you're doing just let um other drivers be be safe and get to where you need to be and I need to be drinking coffee and schooling so see you on the flip side do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in
day done um, yeah I think you can tell by the smile that I am all completed done dusted and certified with my level 3 phlebotomy training done certificate should be with me within the next seven days and yeah <laughs> I think it's time to find yet oh I better stop for that uh, person wants to cross the road <laughs> he wasn't there and then he was uh, it's time for me to now start looking for yet another um, job alongside the one I have um, just in case anyone's watching from my workplace I absolutely love it there of course I've just mentioned I have had a, a slight promotion and I am not thinking of going anywhere I'm staying at the at the test center if anything having spoken to uh, a couple of people on my course today including the the trainer um, this uh, course and qualification could lead to something within the kind of like COVID uh, line of work if that's the way to say it. <laughs> um, I could then go on to do other um, qualifications or um, in-house training with a workplace to move on to antibody testing and vaccination. I met a lady today who's actually signed on for another course with a different company and she's going to be doing um, flu vaccinations. I didn't realise that was a course. Uh, <laughs> but anything that I can get I think is good. Good for me, good for my prospects and future. Um, I'm just actually driving past the place that my course was supposed to take place. Um, um, but they didn't allow it to happen. Um, they weren't opening up their, uh, what are they called, conference rooms. So the place that it was actually in, um, a lot of road work, sorry, I got a bit confused then. All the road was uh, <laughs> closed off. <laughs> Had to use the wrong side. Always feels strange, doesn't it? Uh, that's my old university. Uh, getting very sidetracked. I think I'm a little excited and giddy uh, <laughs> it's been such a long time coming I can't believe I'm actually well you guys are the first people to hear about it I've not even um, phoned home to tell um, my mom and dad or my sister I've not phoned anybody to say anything I just thought I'll hit record tell you guys uh, that I'm gonna be a phlebotomist I guess at some point in my life <laughs> Lots of opportunities. Um, I think it went in my favour, as it generally does, uh, to have um, entertainer in my history, being an actor or performer. Uh, it's one of the things we spoke about when we were all introducing ourselves. And the trainer uh, just so happened to be a fellow thespian. Uh, he was London-based originally and done a lot of theatre work 
so we had a little connection which was nice um, he kind of understood me <laughs> which is always nice as I am a talker um, not for everybody but there was obviously a few quieter people on the course um, I don't know what else to say I'm done I don't know where I'm putting this vlog if it's just going to be a mini update or whatever's happening but for now I have another qualification <laughs> I'm just going to head home, um, possibly think about charging the car. I still have 70 miles left. Um, I think I just keep regenerating my hours back, my hours, my miles back on there by using the, the B function for driving. So I'm, I'm driving more eco-friendly. So I'm regenerating energy back into the car, which is absolutely amazing. Um, Thank you to uh, Geopace for my course. Um, I don't, I, it's not very often this happens, but I'm lost for words. <laughs> Enjoy whatever you're doing with your day. If you've used lockdown or this quarantine time to re-educate or um, change career path let me know have you done anything completely off the wall um different or similar but you know not i don't know <laughs> yeah there's a comment section for a reason let me know what you've been up to during this um period of a readjustment shall we call it um i've had a few extra strings to my bow during this time and um and your job in the middle as well. Hopefully you've all been staying positive, staying safe and keeping a wage going because that's the most important thing. But whatever you have been doing, I hope you've enjoyed my vlogs. This one also, give me a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the flip side. There must be more to the reason why Welcome to Thursday, Thursday the 16th of July. Um, a happy day by most accounts, um, as today I start my new role as a supervisor at the, uh, the test site that I mentioned I work at. So um, I won't go into great detail about that, other than I'm very happy, grateful to have a, such an amazing team with me. And at the moment it's not raining, but the clouds are looking very full. So a um, couple of things just to touch base with. Um, I wasn't going to do anything with regards today uh, for you guys, to be honest. Um, but yesterday, um, on my second day off, I received a letter in the post. So um, that kind of scrapped my next vlog. So I'm here to say, Bob's in the road. <laughs> I'm here to say that um, well, end this vlog basically. <laughs> got to come my way. Got to come my way. Perhaps I should explain morning voice and hair that's just dried on its own, but I feel like I do that a lot anyway, so let's get on with it. Yeah, first day back and this time in my new supervisory role. So nothing too different. I still have the same amazing team, still the same two days on and two days off and we're there just to get the job done. So I wasn't really going to touch base on um, this be my first day, but yesterday I received a letter that um, has kind of cancelled my next vlog. So I'm here really just to end this one and it happens to be today. So um, I had got planned and I've either already inserted or about to insert some footage of Traffic the alert. road works ahead. <clears throat> of the correspondence I've been having um, between myself and the local blood donor centre. As you guys, if you've been around for a while, know I've been trying to give blood uh, for a while now. This was the third appointment that I had made as my last two had been cancelled. And then next Thursday, it was finally going to happen. 
Yesterday I received a letter stating apologies, but it's now not going to happen. The reason being COVID. So I'm not sure what that reason means or it just seems to be an easy answer to a lot of things, which is not really very fair, but it's happening. So yeah, I will not be giving blood. Unfortunately, I'm going to keep my eye out to see if there are any pop-up sites that happen locally on any days off. It's not likely, I know that, but um, I still want to do my part, so I'll watch this space, I'll let you know if it happens. Um, I did look on the, um, the blood donor site, like the app that I have now downloaded that I keep rescheduling on, and it says at the moment, Royal Melvin, um, at the moment the next available slot is mid-October, so of course it is July now, do I book for October and see if it still happens? or just wait for a pop-up site somewhere, hopefully, if that is a thing anymore. Um, because I think you have to wait three months in between each uh, session anyway. So if I manage to go to one, then I'd have to cancel the October appointment. So I'm not sure what to do there yet, just yet. But it is still a happy day. Uh, there was a lot of rain in the sky. It's not raining at the moment. And it's still slither of blue but I fear that it's going to be a cold wet day as ever here in uh, July in the UK <laughs> who said it's summer anyway so I dress a little bit differently today um, not that you can see but I do have my um, running gear so I've got my old running leggings on which are Victoria's Secret pink um, they're high-waisted and uh, a lot tighter and a bit warmer than the leggings that I've been wearing to go to work in so I decided to put my Victoria's Secret ensemble on so I've got um, my little hoodie the muscle top and sports bra uh, all in eight once again I guess to try and make better choices so uh, weight loss not going anywhere and obviously um, I do get fed on site but I thought if perhaps I wore tighter more restrictive clothing and remember that I should be training I may make better choices so uh, in the trunk of my car I do have my protein shake and shake it so we'll see if that happens um even if it's only on the odd occasion that i think a little better now and again it may lead to some results we shall see so um that said um just ending the vlog here really happy thursday <laughs> and i'll see you on the flip side <laughs>